Hey guys, Angel here with the Bullish Bears team. I am making this video today on day trading options. So when you think of day trading, typically you think of just trading stocks, but you can also day trade options and day trading options allows you to trade those big time stocks without having to put up a lot of capital. So when you purchase an option, you are giving yourself the right, but not the obligation to buy or sell a stock within a certain amount of time at a certain price. So you pick your strike price, you pick your expiration date, and then you go from there. So options trading allows you to trade, like I said, these big stocks without putting up a lot of capital. And day trading options can be quite lucrative because typically uh, big stocks have a large amount of moves and they can move quite a bit throughout the day. So you can take advantage of those stocks. I remember one time last year, Amazon moved down $50 in one day. So if you had decided to day trade that move, you could have made a $50 like $50, that's a lot of money. And one options contract controls 100 shares. So when you have just one options contract, you're controlling under 100 shares without actually having to own 100 shares. So options is really, really lucrative when you do it well. It's also really risky because they have different moving parts. It's not as cut and dry as trading stocks. So day trading options can maybe cut down a little bit on the risk if you're trading naked calls and puts. And naked calls and puts just means you're trading the options, you don't actually own the shares of the stock. But there are other strategies to limit risks, risks like spreads that you can you can day trade a spread. But if you wanna make a little bit more money, you have to make take a little bit more of a risk and trading calls and puts are that risk. So if you wanted to head over to our, let's see, I haven't a video pulled up, but I don't don't, it's kind of messy. I'm going to take a look at Amazon because I know that this one moves quite a bit. So let's actually take a look at yesterday. So you could have, whoa, I don't know how I did that. So you could have, even if you just, I typically use moving averages to help me decide when to get in and out. So you can see that it was pretty just messy and kind of sideways when it broke above this nine and started trading above this nine, you could have held. So if you got in around, let's say, the middle of this candlestick at 1,612.51, you could have rode that all the way up to uh, 16.22. So that is like a $10 move in just a short amount of time. In about five minutes, you could have made a $10 move. So if you're looking over here at the the spreads, I mean, you are going to put up a bit of a capital. <laughs> so you have to put up almost $2,000. So if you have that, then that's great. But that's also saving you some money because you're not actually, because you control 100 shares, you don't actually have to pay the price for owning 100 shares. Could you imagine that times 100 would be quite a bit of money? So you can, if you have the capital, you can trade stocks like Amazon. So if you decided to get in here, you can see that it traded sideways again before it started moving up. If you got an even right here at 161762 and wrote that all the way up till the 1634.21, that's quite a bit of money that you could have made. Let's take a look at some of the maybe not as expensive stocks. So we'll take a look at Square. So Square, you can see, well again, we'll take a look at yesterday because it's a little bit easier to see what happened yesterday. So it sort of just fell off in the morning. So you could have taken the put side of this when it broke below this nine and didn't hold. So if you got in at 66.67 and then you just went all the way down to 65.69, that's a, a dollarish move. So if you look at the options chain, so if we just bought a put for today, that's with an expiration, I'm sorry, of Friday, you're only spending $89 to control 100 shares, and then you get that dollar move. So options are really, really 
lucrative to trade, especially day trading, because you can sort of mitigate the risk with the Greeks and whatnot and the time decay if you're day trading them. One of my favorite things to do is trade spreads longer term and then day trade options because it's just a great way to protect yourself while still getting to have the fun of the big moves that calls and puts give you. And so if you even just traded off the five minute chart yesterday, you could have gotten in you can see that it made like this cut pattern. I like to trade the pattern, so I probably would have waited for the cut to form, gotten in sort of at the handle, 67.27-ish up to 70.10 or $70.10. So that's about a $3 move, almost a $3 move that you could have just held this. It didn't break below the nine. You didn't have, you had this close below the nine here, but you can see that the moving averages weren't close enough to cross. So that's why I use moving averages in my trading. If I see that the moving averages are curling and they are getting ready to turn with the candlesticks closing below them, then I know it's time for me to get out. But you can see that this got a little, a little bit of a mess on the one minute chart. So you can kind of see this pattern and keep yourself in on the five minute chart because the one minute can get a little crazy and then a little scary. But you can see if you just rode this, I mean, I if I traded just off the five minute, I probably would have gotten out around here and missed some of the profit. And that's why I use the five minute to stay in on a day trade because it's not getting below this nine. It's not the moving averages aren't crossing. So I feel safe to stay in. But since we are day trading, oh man, I need to just make it a pointer, I guess. Since we're day trading, we're not gonna hold this and hope that it continues going higher tomorrow. That would make it a swing trade. So I would have gotten out probably, you can see this tweezer top form. So if you didn't get out, don't go getting greedy <laughs> and just take your profits. Like I always say, you never go broke taking your profits. So you could have held on knowing it was the close of day, seeing that high, which was about five minutes before the close, I would have just gotten out if I hadn't have already gotten out. That way I protect myself. I don't have any time decay working against me. I get to keep my profits and I'm day trading options. And now you can hold it all day or you could have just scalped your trades when it made this bull flag and then it kept writing up this nine. So day trading options is a really, really great lucrative way to trade. Now, if you are a part of our, um, if, if you're a member and you are in our day trade room, then you will see Dan during the live streams in the morning day trading options because he's doing that small account challenge and he's taking a small account and growing it by trading options. The great thing about options is that they're not that expensive. So you don't have to trade these penny stocks that can be pretty volatile and or they just they don't have the patterns that the larger cap stocks do. So if you're a pattern trader, sometimes trading those penny volatile penny stocks can be a little bit tougher. So you can trade these moves on the large cap stocks without necessarily having to put up a lot of capital unless you're trading Amazon because Amazon is just ridiculously expensive. And all you have to do is find the strike price that you think it's going to. So let's say we decided yesterday, okay, it's at 66 54, I think it's going to hit $67. And then you come over here, 67, well, it's uh, higher than that now, but like, for example, I don't know what it was yesterday, but today it would have been 215. So that's $215 that you are risking. Now, remember with options, you control 100 shares. So if you were to buy 100 shares of Square, you would be paying close to $7,000 instead of the, well, the price keeps jumping. So instead of the $223 that you would be paying to day trade. So day trading options is lucrative without having to put up a lot of the capital just because the Greeks affect price. So anytime the stock moves, like let's say a dollar and you were this close or this far in the money and you would get a 78 cent move plus with every dollar move. So that's a great way to make money with options. Options are my favorite. I love trading options just because I like patterns and I like being able to trade those big stocks and not have to put up 
a lot of money to do so. So day trading options is a great way to grow a small account. So if you don't have a lot of money, you do need to practice options. You can open a thinkorswim paper trading account and just practice. You can come over here and try out all of these different spreads that they have. So that way you can try out if you wanted to day trade a vertical spread, you can do that. So there are a ton of ways to make money with options and you can read more about that over here on our day trading options for income post. You can also head over and take our courses where you can learn the candlesticks so that way you know what's coming because candlesticks, while they're not a crystal ball, they give you a lot of insight into how traders are feeling, especially with those indecision candles. You can tell if they have a more bearish or bullish slant, even though they're indecisive. You can take our day trading course to learn how to use the moving averages and the RSI and different things to help you get in and out of trades and then learn options. Options are a great way to make money in the stock market. And you can even take our thinkorswim course to learn how to set up your paper trading account to be able to practice day trading options. And if you are not a member, you can head over here and subscribe. That way you have access to our trade rooms and you can head into our day trade room and you can see everybody in there talking. And then you also are a part of our live stream. So you can watch Dan day trade options in the live stream. And you can head over here as well to our stock market community on Facebook. There are a ton of people in there. So if you have any sort of questions about anything, you can just come right in there and post it and people will get back to you. And if you want to be able to watch and see what the admins and the moderators are posting, you can head over to our fan page and like our fan page that and follow it. That way you can see what the founders of the Bullish Bears are posting because with the stock market community group, there are so many people posting that sometimes it gets a little lost. And if you like this video, then just like, share, and subscribe to our YouTube. That way you get notified about anything that we do content-wise. I know the guys are going to be doing some more options stuff. So it's a great community to be a part of. And if you comment, I will comment back to you. And uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I'll see you all later.